I recently got this 1965 Sunfish for 100 bucks. It came with all the stuff it needs to sail except for a hull without leaks in it. So there's this patch right there. That's pretty ugly. I'm going to try to clean that up, get something better on it. The bottom of the cockpit has a patch which has failed. Looks like they just put it on over the top. They didn't like bevel the edges or anything. So I'm going to try to fix that. And around the dagger board. I'm not sure if this is actually cracked or if it's just a gel coat that's split. But this is definitely a hole here. So I'm going to get this cleaned up. And then there's a couple of little spots on the bottom too. So, yeah, it's a little bit ugly, but for a hundred bucks, I think it's worth it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try using a heat gun to take off this old cockpit patch. It doesn't look like it's stuck very well, and I think it might just peel off if I get it hot. We'll see. So with a heat gun and chisel, all this old, patch came off. I think they just used one layer of fiberglass, which really isn't enough. And I'm not sure what they stuck it on with, but it didn't stick very well. So I'm going to definitely do a better job. I think actually what I'm going to do is cut along this crack to relieve it, to make it a little bit wider, and then cut a whole rectangle out because I want to see what's under here and how it was supposed to be attached to see if it's supposed to be like bonded down to the actual bottom of the hull but anyways I don't know how it's supposed to be done so I'm gonna cut out a bigger rectangle so I can see and that'll also help it dry out in there because it is a little wet here's what the floor looks like after I cut out the section I bought a two inch wide by eighth inch thick by eight foot long piece of fiberglass from McMaster car and I'm planning on gluing it to the underside of the floor so it spans across the crack and that should give me a good gluing surface and make a good solid joint. I may do something underneath the floor like with foam to stop it from being springy because it cracked once and it's probably from the floor flexing. So if I can stop it from flexing I can maybe stop it from cracking again in the future. This is what was underneath the patch in the back of the boat. It's pretty darn ugly. You can see when they switched over to the new rudder mounting system, they didn't do a very good job of patching the deck here. It's kind of hard to see, but they even left in one of the screws, so they just went right over it. They didn't even bother to take that out before putting on their patch. You can see they did put in an access port. However, it's kind of in the wrong spot. It's a little bit too far forward, so you can't reach the nuts for the tiller mounting system so if one of those loosens up or if you need to change them or whatever else you can't reach so that's a pain in the neck they also just use plain steel fasteners and a metal plate which does seem galvanized and they also put it on slightly crooked so I'm gonna do a better job than this I cut a big hole in the deck and I'm gonna patch this the same way as I'm gonna do the cockpit floor with the the cockpit baler was also completely shot. It had like a piece of like copper wire stuffed down in, like Romex to plug it off, and was just completely corroded. So I'm going to put a new one of those in. There was also a patch on the side of the hull, and I decided to strip it off because judging from the quality of the rest of the repairs in this boat, it could use a better repair. After stripping off the old patch, it looks like this hole was just caused by chafing against something and wearing a hole, probably when the boat was moored somewhere. There also was this crack up further forward. I decided to also cut out a section here because it get me access to the back of it and also help with drying it out. And this was a fairly long crack, so I wanted to be able to reinforce the back without having to, you know, grind down the whole front and lose the whole profile that I was aiming for. So hopefully that works out. Using the hole in the bottom, I can also access the top of the dagger board slot so I can address the crack that was showing up there. I don't think it's actually cracked through, but I can reinforce that from the back side. And then also I can get up to the crack by where the mast is and patch that from the back as well as the top. So I think 
cutting the hole in the bottom was the right choice, but I will find out in a you know, a couple of days when I try to put it all back together again. One thing that can happen to a leaky sunfish is the foam can get saturated with water. So I put mine up on sawhorses, tented over it, had a fan going inside, and ran a dehumidifier underneath the tent. It seems to have made a difference, although there are two types of foam in there. There's the white, like, bead foam, and then there's also, like, expanding foam that got put in there. And the expanding foam dries pretty well, but the bead foam really holds on to its moisture pretty well. So I think I'm going to call it probably dry enough for now, and then you know, vent it over the winter or something like that so I can take it out sailing. I'm not going to spend weeks drying this thing. I want to take it out for a spin. This is the tiller rudder assembly for my new Sunfish sailboat. And the wood is in pretty good shape, but the finish is just still peeling off and pretty bad. So I'm going to strip off the hardware and refinish it with some spar urethane. I could use it as is, but there's no sense you know, putting unprotected wood in the water, especially since the rest of the boat isn't ready to sail yet. Anyways, so I'm gonna get this stripped down and yeah, I'll start refinishing it. Well, I already broke one screw, so I'm gonna need at least one new screw for this. They seem like they're aluminum, which is not the strongest material but I guess it's lightweight and corrosion resistant and stuff so anyways I gotta punch this out and uh, yeah continue
I'll have more sunfish videos up in the future as I make more progress on this. Hopefully I'll get it done in the next, you know, by the end of this week, but, but who knows what else I'll find. And I'm still waiting on some materials to arrive.